Hello, and welcome to our Afloat installation instruction video. In this video, we will review our step-by-step -step instructions for how to install your Afloat waterbed. Take out the care kit box and open it. Here you should have your 25-foot hose, waterbed conditioner, air extractor, carrying sling, fill and drain kit, which includes your fill meter, bolt kit, which includes your alignment pins, bolts, and Allen wrench, to start, assemble your foundation, either the traditional foundation with the metal bed frame or the space saver platform. For a king mattress, lay out the wood base in a proper location on the foundation, paying attention to the arrows and making sure that they are facing each other at the center. For a queen mattress, there will be one wood base labeled with head and foot. Place the heating panel in its designated position. For a standard king, place the single pad on either side as it will still evenly distribute the heat. Run the power cord to the holes in the top corners of the bed. Plug the heater power cord into the control box. Bring the temperature control sensor through the same hole and place the control sensor approximately 10 inches away from the heater pad towards the head of the bed. Do not plug the temperature control into the wall until instructed. Affix the temperature control unit to the frame by magnetic attachment. In the designated spots, screw in the alignment pins approximately one quarter of the way down. Place the bottom skirt fabric over the alignment pins, buttoning the individual pins through the skirt. Slide the foam rails over the bolts. The foam rails will be labeled as header, footer, and sides. Replace the alignment pins with the final bolts. Tighten all the bolts down using the hand Allen screw or drill with proper attachment. Wrap the stretch liner over the foam rails and tuck the liner in between the foam bottom and stretch the fabric paying attention to the footer label. Unfold and place the water mattress with the valve at the foot of the bed. For a dual mattress, place the divider in the center of the two mattresses, tucking the flaps below the empty waterbed mattress. Attach the hose to the water shutoff valve, then attach the fill meter and valve adapter. The fill meter will help you make sure to put the right amount of water into the mattress. Open the mattress valve and immediately tighten the hose adapter over the mattress valve by turning the adapter. Do not leave the valve open too long as this lets air in. Attach the other end of the hose into a water source, open the shutoff valve, and begin the filling. It is important to note that using lukewarm water instead of cold water will drastically reduce the time needed for your temperature control system to reach your desired setting. When the mattress has filled halfway, for a queen, that would be 55 gallons, for a dual king cell, 35 gallons, and for a standard king, 70 gallons, turn off the shutoff valve and add the waterbed conditioner. For the dual king cell, only empty half of the bottle and save the rest for the other cell. For the queen and standard king, empty the entire bottle. Open the valve on the other mattress and immediately tighten the hose adapter on that mattress valve. Open the shutoff valve and begin filling. When filling, approximately halfway, turn off the hose and add the waterbed conditioner again. This balances the fill on both sides. Be sure to refer to the fill chart for the proper gallon amount. The queen requires 110 gallons. The dual king requires 70 gallons per cell. The standard king requires 140 gallons. Once filled, open the mattress valve to start the burping process. Using your forearm, apply a light pressure to the mattress from the head and sweep the air to the valve at the foot of the bed. This pushes the air out of the valve. After hand and arm burping, use the provided air extractor tool to remove the rest of the air in the mattress. If you see any other visible bubbles, continue the burping process until the mattress is air-free and then seal the valve, screwing the safety cap on and press the cap into the mattress. If you have our firm flotation model, place the memory foam layer over the water mattress and stretch the elastic skirt over the edge and tuck it under the mattress. If you don't have our firm model, stretch the bottom portion of the cover up the mattress, making sure to leave the zipper exposed. Zip the top section of the cover on the mattress starting at the zipper at the foot of the bed. Work your way around the mattress to the end. Finally, plug the temperature control into the nearest outlet and set the initial temperature to 90 degrees, and you're ready to enjoy your afloat mattress. Once finished, reassemble the care kit and place it somewhere safe. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your afloat waterbed for years and years to come.